Tables were added to the 2007 release of Excel and are one of the most significant advancements to spreadsheets in the past 15 years. One of the many benefits of working with tables in Excel is that they serve as dynamically expanding ranges of data. Thus, as data is appended either horizontally or vertically to the table, the definition of the table automatically expands to include the appended data and any object based on the table also includes the appended data. To begin our discussion of using Excel tables as dynamically expanding data ranges, let's first create a table. To create a table from a basic range of data, simply click in the data range and choose Format as a table from the Home tab of the ribbon. Upon clicking OK, Excel transforms the selected range of data into a table as currently shown on the screen. Excel automatically assigns a name to the table. However, you can change that name by simply clicking in the Table Name field on the Table Tools Design Contextual tab and typing in the new name for the table. Now, to demonstrate the power of the dynamic sizing and resizing capabilities of tables, let's build a pivot table that uses the table as its data source and then appends some data to the table. Perhaps the simplest way to build a pivot table from a table is to click inside the table and then choose Summarize with Pivot Table from the Table Tools Design Contextual tab to open the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Upon clicking OK, the outline of the pivot table is dropped onto a new worksheet. Without going into the mechanics on constructing the pivot table, a completed pivot table based on the data flowing in from the table is currently shown on the screen. Now, returning to the table from which the pivot table was created, let's add some data for January of 2012. Pasting data to the bottom of the table causes the table to automatically expand and any object based on the table will now also include the data that is appended to the table. For instance, returning to the pivot table and refreshing the pivot table, we see that 2012 data now appears inside the pivot table. There are many advantages to working with tables in Excel 2007 and Excel 2010. However, perhaps none is more significant than their ability to serve as dynamically expanding ranges for pivot tables, pivot charts, charts, and other objects. If you're not currently taking advantage of tables, you should give them a try today. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.